Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs. Welcome back to the channel. This feels like an awful long time since I've been here. My, um, <clears throat> I'm here today with the Stamp Around the UK video hop. And the theme is Shimmer, Shimmer, Shine and Sparkle or something like that. Shiny stuff, anyway. So I'm going to make a Christmas card. Um... My mojo's been missing for quite a while um, and it's just beginning to slowly come back, thank the Lord. Um, I feel like I've not done any proper crafting for months and months due to illness and then my mojo disappearing. So hopefully I'm back. Um, I'm back properly. So I thought I'd have a go at this, this um, theme this month um, and I realise I am waffling so you'll have to excuse me. It's a long time since I've done this. So, as I said, the theme was Shimmer, Shine and Sparkle, or those three words, I think, were not necessarily in that order. Um, and I've got some of this Speciality um, Snowflake paper, which is really, really pretty. Let me show you. There's some that's flocked, um, which is pretty, but obviously it doesn't shimmer and sparkle. Um, and the snowflakes and just dots, which I suppose is snow. And then they do one in an, in an iridescent sparkly one, which I think is really pretty. And they do these snowflakes in the iridescent too, which um, is what I've used. And they also do it in the flocked as well. Really <coughs> cute paper and great for Christmas. So I'm going to use a bit of that and I'm going to do some silver heat embossing as well. So I made this one as a sample, but um, I'm not very pleased with it. I don't think these bits shimmer and sparkle quite a lot, but I think this looks a bit dull. So I'm going to have another go um, and see if I can improve that. And I'm going to use this um, framed and festive stamp set, which is part of the fitting florets suite. Um, and this particular stamp set will only be around until the beginning of January when the new um, mini catalogue starts. Um, so if you like this, you need to get it now because um, it's while stocks last, I think, this one. But it's really nice. I think it's got really nice big sentiments and I like the fonts as well. So <clears throat> I'll shut up waffling and um, show you how I made it. So this time I'm going to go for real red, nice bright Christmassy colour. So I've got a piece of cardstock which is five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter and I'm just going to fold that in half and burn it. And I've got the card base, okay. So then I thought to brighten it up a bit I put some silver foil underneath this vellum um, and I think that shows it off a little bit better what do you think so I'm going to stick that down um, and sticking vellum to anything is notoriously difficult so we'll just have to see how it goes so we'll put this um, silver foil on with my adhesive of choice which is always Tombow. Now, as you know, if you're not careful, you can see glue through um, vellum. So what I'm going to do is put little dabs of glue on the bigger snowflakes or dots. and hope for the best. So I'll try that for now. We can always put a bit more on later. I'll stick that down. So 
Well, there will be lots of other um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators taking part in this video hop. And um, the links to all their videos will be underneath in the description bar below. So don't forget to check them all out. I think that looks better, doesn't it? It shows off much better than that one does, I think. So I'm glad I decided to add that bit in this time. So we'll do a bit of heat embossing now for the sentiment. So I'm, as I said, I'm going to use, what have I done with it? I'm going to use the um, Framed and Festive. So I think we'll have, I think I'll go again with the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I like that one. red on the verse mark put the lid on that glue for now and we'll just give this a rub over with the embossing butter I'll do all of this in case I make a mistake and I have to do it twice Serve the paper. Put plenty of this mark on. Oh, stamp it. Oh, that looks okay. So let's pour some silver embossing powder on it. over there so it doesn't blow everywhere seems to feels like it's gone a bit dark in here now have a look on there put the lights on see if that's any better i don't know whether that's any better or not but at least i can see what i'm doing now <clears throat> and it's only the middle of the day it's horrible weather so <clears throat> I'll warm up the heat tool so I might get a bit noisy for a minute. And we'll watch the magic. You see, it's starting to go. heat embossing is just like magic so we'll leave that to cool down for a minute because I'm going to punch it out <coughs> with the um, decorative circle punch so we need some we need a piece of white for the inside so this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths so we're we going the same way with this this time should do a landscape card this time. Yeah, we'll go landscape this time. So, another sentiment for inside. So, I think we'll do... May this season be filled with peace and joy. That's a nice sentiment. We'll get the real red pink. Line that up on the grid paper. Lovely. Put 
lid on that and then don't put my elbow in it. And we'll stick that in place. I hope you're all really excited about the new catalogue. I've seen the PDF version of it now and I can't wait to get it in my hands. I've got a list as long as my arm of pretty stamp sets and some lovely dies and fabulous papers. There are some really, really beautiful papers in the upcoming catalogue. And we're having celebration too. For two months this time which is amazing. Love celebration. So I'll punch that out now with this, come on, decorative punch. There we go. I think we'll add that to the centre. And we'll add that on from dimensionals. <clears throat> and I've only got mini dimensionals at the moment. I need to put an order in. But I'm waiting until I can order from the new mini catalogue on the 1st of December. So if you join my team, you too could be ordering your starter kit from the new mini catalogue. Um, at the moment, you can get £130 worth of products from either of the catalogues that are current for £99. And then you, you too will get early access to the new catalogue and all the goodies. 20% off all for future purchases. And I'd love to have you in my team. That would be awesome. Right, now I've cut some of the snowflakes out already because um, watching me fussy cut is quite a painful process because it takes me ages because my eyesight isn't brilliant. So again, we're gonna, I'm gonna stick these on with dimensionals because I think it will stick better. So I have to make sure that I stick the dimensionals actually on the big parts of the snowflakes. One in the middle as well. And I'm leaving one blank because I want it to rest on this um, sentiment in the middle. Put some on this one as well. I do like these mini dimensionals because they go a long way, but with my fat fingers, they're quite hard to pick up. Well, I could do it with my take your pick tool, but I don't actually know where it is at the moment. It's around here somewhere. I'll pull the backings off all of these. So if you're interested in joining my team or you want to chat to me about it, just send me a message, craftycarondesigns at outlook.com or you can message me via my Facebook page, Crafty Karen Designs, or my blog, Crafty Karen Designs at blogspot.com um, and you can also get access to my weekly newsletter on there. I send a newsletter out every Monday. Um, with details, all the latest from Stampin' Up and details of everything that I've made the week before and uploaded to the blog. So you get everything all in one place. And I don't bombard you with lots of spam. You get one email per week with your newsletter and that's it. one will put on there 
Now, have we got any sparkle in embellishments? Shall we add a, few, a bit more? You can never have enough bling and sparkle, can you? Let's have a look what we've got. We've got red rhinestones. And we've got ordinary rhinestones. So what shall we have? Maybe some of both. Um, <clears throat> we'll just put a few of these around. A couple in the corners. And then we're nearly done. So let's just finish it off with a few of these. And don't forget the details of everybody else's videos are underneath in the description bar below. So you can access all of them from the links. So another one. Or another one there. So I feel that I think that fulfills the brief. Shiny, sparkly. There we go. I think I prefer the red one to the blue one. I think I might make a few more of these as my um, Christmas cards. So I hope you like it. I hope you'll have a look at everybody else's video and I hope you'll nip over to my blog and sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel i'd be really grateful if you could click on the link below um, i'm going for um i'm trying to get to 2000 subscribers before my birthday in february so hopefully i'll manage that so thanks very much for waffling and listening to the uh for waffling thanks very much for watching and listening to the waffling and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye